Hey, what is up you guys? It is Uberforce and welcome back to another episode of Boom Beach. And today, we're going to take down Lieutenant Hermano level 45, which is going to be really cool because today I'm actually going to be using a different type of strategy in which usual boomers do, warriors or heavy zooka or tank and medics. But today I'm just gonna go all riflemans. Let's see how this one's gonna be going. I'm a little bit higher level than most people are when they actually take down Lieutenant Hermano level 45, so I suppose that is the advantage that I have. I'm gonna show you guys the uh, specifics right now so my rifleman level 11 i still need to level these up by the way so yeah then the artillery level 13 i don't think we're going to be using that one but we are going to be using the barrage on level 7 we also have a smoke which we are going to be utilizing as well level 1 we got a flare level 5 which uh, takes 20 seconds before it actually goes Mad kit on level 13 and a shock bomb on level 4. So, uh, yeah, pretty good stuff down there. Then, of course, my gunboat energy. You guys see my gunboat level 16. You see my landing crest level 13. Two of them and the rest are all level 12 right now. So, uh, that's something to consider as well. I boosted up my power stone chance. And I have no idea if that's going to be helpful or not. But I was taking down a couple of bases anyway. And, yeah, that's why I decided to actually boost it up. I have a 15% Gunboat Energy Guardian, and I have a 41% Gunboat Energy Masterpiece, and of course a 28% Troop Damage Masterpiece as well. So, that brings my total energy up to 66, which is should be significant in order to uh, take down uh, Lieutenant Hammerman on level 45. Hammerman's HQ level 45. As we already know from the last episode, he mentioned already something in the MMG 9000. Which is really insane. It's a really crazy machine gun. You guys see it all the way in the middle over here. 12,000 health. 85 damage. Let's actually see how well it manages up to a level 50 machine gun. It's about the same. It's about the same. So it's essentially like an upgraded, like let's say level 16 or 17 machine gun that's down there in the middle. It just has more health. Uh, a couple of things we need to take into consideration here. We're only using riflemen. So the stuff we gotta be shock bombing are obviously going to be... The rocket launchers and luckily for us we only need one shock uh shock launch we only need one shock bomb in order to do that so that's going to be easy we're also going to be barraging these mines because these mines are going to be in the way the red and deadly doing a lot of damage so we're going to be using one barrage on those as well i'm going to be going from the right side because from the left side you see over here you got these uh sniper towers over here and over there as well so they actually uh, you know they they make it a little bit harder because at the right side you actually got machine gun and these that gives you a lot of space over here. The whole idea is that I'm going to be dropping a couple of flares in these positions in order to make it all the way up to the back. Then drop another flare to drag myself behind these uh, rocket launches I hope. And then dropping a couple of shock bombs in order to take it out. Or we're just going to see how well we're going to be doing this one. It's going to be a lot of fun. Something a little bit different. So here we go. Attack. I'm a little bit nervous, I gotta say, because uh, I actually did a recording of this before forgetting the barrage. <laughs> so that's the first thing I'm gonna be doing right off the bat, hopefully taking out that right one as well, which it did, that is really awesome. I actually wanna be ta using one artillery shell to actually take that one out as well, so there we go. Perfect. Now, moment of truth. Uh, the the range, of course, of this rocket launcher is reaching all the way up to, I think, this little tree there in the middle. The, the, the pair of trees there that is moving right now. So, I think that is uh, the moment it actually starts moving to, to us. When it starts to lock on on us, I'm just dropping the shock bomb immediately, okay? So, dropping all of the landing crafts right now. Dropping the first flare over at the back over here. I think it should be good. Uh, the warriors have plenty of time to actually make it up there. Then... Dropping another one to redirect them at the right side. Then dropping the second one to go to the back right now. Because right now they're relatively nicely grouped. And I think I want to be dropping the shock bomb right now just in time. Perfect timing right there. Now comes the tricky part. Because we got to keep two things in mind. A walking path and the shock bombs. Dropping the shock bomb just to be sure. And right now dropping the flare as well. And as you guys can see the rocket launches are under fire. I actually want to be getting close to the... Uh, to the rocket launches right now and dropping a med kit just to be sure so right now we're in position taking out the first rocket launcher taking out the second one taking out the third one giving me additional med kit right now taking out the base and let's see if we can actually take this one down goes down really fast we got a ton of uh, rifleman left and boom there you go have a man hq level 45 with rifleman 
that is just like the most fun way to do it because everybody's doing rifle, uh, everybody's doing zookas and everything. Holy moly! <laughs> I'll report to the high command that our field test of MMG 9000 was a success. Sure, we didn't quite mow down 9000 rebel troops, but we got close enough. And victory for us! So what do we get? 5 medals over here. And look at this. Look at these fragments and these crystals and these shards. And only 28 casualties. That's like... Uh, that's, that's like a cheap run there, like honestly, you could do this with warriors, uh, I think that Hammerman HQ level 45, the easiest way to do that one is with warriors relatively easily, uh, then you can use tanks and medics, but you gotta keep the boom cannons in mind, uh, I'm not entirely sure about the range of that, uh, so that might be tricky, but one thing for sure, it is a lot of fun to actually do it with the rifleman, so that is basically going to be concluding today's episode of Boom Beach, I'm going to go ahead and craft my next masterpiece, so that being said, as always, make sure that if you guys like like this video to boom, give it a thumbs up and this will be reversal for boom beach i'm dropping all kinds of bottles here um i'm gonna be signing off and i'll see you guys in the next one deuces Hey you guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Boom Beach. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, please subscribe to the channel. There's way more coming in the near future. In the meantime, check out some of my other videos while you're around anyway. Uh, for example, the NPC base takedown number one in which we unlock Hammerman HQ level 45. Video can be found on the right side and the video at the right side is obviously Hammerman HQ level 40. Check the links in the video description down below. Let me know what you guys think and I'll see you guys around.